Okay. All right, go ahead and simplify two monomials. You don't need to erase it. Um, the main important thing is you have to make sure you simplify each monomial individually first. And if I notice by using my law of exponents, whenever I have a negative exponent, I know that's going to be over 1. So essentially, I can put this on the bottom of a fraction. So therefore, I have 2a cubed over b squared multiplied by, since this whole monomial is being squared, I need to square each and every term that's inside of there. So I'm going to have a negative 2 squared, a squared, and a b squared squared. And remember, when you're squaring, uh, I'm sorry, when you already have an exponent and you're going to square it again, you're actually going to multiply the two exponents. So this actually becomes negative 2 squared, becomes positive 4, a squared, and that's b to the fourth. Remember, that's 2 times 2 is going to give me b to the fourth. I'm not adding the exponents. Now I'm going to put that over 1. The reason why is because I have a, a, uh, a rational monomial over here, so I want to make this rational as well, or pretty much uh, make it as a fraction. So now I can just multiply across. These are two fractions. You just multiply across. Obviously, 2 times 4 becomes 8. a cubed times a squared is become a to the 3 plus 2. Remember, when you multiply uh, fractions, or I'm sorry, multiply bases with different exponents, you add the exponents. And b is going to be b to the fourth over b squared. Obviously, here I now know I can um, put this to the. I can if I was going to put that back up, it'd be to the negative two, right? So essentially, I can do b to the four minus two because I'm dividing my bases. So essentially, I can kind of rewrite this as. Um, b to the negative 2, where I'm going to go and subtract these. So b minus 2. So essentially, when I add these up, I get 8, a to the fifth, b squared. There we go. A, a to the fifth, b. Keep that up there. 4 minus 2 is going to become 2. So that's your simplified version. Over here, when I already have something as a rational, um, what I need to do is I need to, again, to make this a monomial, I need to make sure that all my x's and y's are simplified to their lowest term. So again, what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to do, if it doesn't have an exponent, we know it's 1. Since I'm dividing, I'm going to subtract. Well, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Then we have x to the 4 minus 1 and y to the 2 minus 5. So I become 6, x to the third, y to the negative third. And again, remember that a negative exponent is over 1. So this essentially can be rewritten as 6x cubed over y cubed. And that's how you simplify when given two minorities.